All right, in this section, I'm gonna go over WordPress users. So in the WordPress users tab, we can change the permissions of different users for our website. Depending on the level of access someone is given, they can either edit the entire website or do very little editing at all. Admins are the highest access level. This level can set up new users and change their access levels. Having different user levels is vital for large companies or sites in which they want users to only have access to specific items. Let's take a look at this section and go through setting up a user and their access level now. All right, so here we are over in the user section here, and you can see right now it says WP Fundamentals as my username, and if I want to, I can click Edit or go to your profile. I'm just going to go to Edit right here, and in this section is where your username would be displayed. It says usernames cannot be changed but your nickname right here, which is required, says WP Fundamentals for me, and the display name publicly displayed as WP Fundamentals. Now, if you wanted to, you could change these, and this will affect what it shows on blog posts. So if you write a blog post, it would show up as written by WP Fundamentals. Maybe you want it to be written as Tom, in my case for WPWithTom.com, I would maybe want it to be Tom as who it's written by. So you could change that in this area right here. Now, as far as adding these users with different roles, we can go back over to here and go to add new under users. And remember, roles are what they are permitted to do in terms of contributing to the website. So it's really important that you choose specific roles for people that you trust to be in these higher permitted roles. With these higher access levels in your website it comes down to security in this place and you really need to trust the people that you're giving access to the site so right here we have these different roles and some of these are actually a little bit different than what there was previously due to recent updates but the ones that you need to worry about are administrator editor author contributor and subscriber right here so the administrator is basically the full power and full control over the website. That's what I have as the admin where I log in as the administrator of the site. I have full control over the website. I set it up. I'm in control. So an editor has the ability to publish posts, manage posts, but they cannot change settings or plugin settings. So they can't make changes to people's roles, for example, within the dashboard itself. The admin would be able to do that. So an author can only create and edit their own posts, but they do still have the ability to publish their posts. So if you're outsourcing work and you wanted people to write blog posts and format it right on your website, an author would have the ability to publish it right there on the spot on the website. And now I believe this is what a lot of sites do that are like Buzzfeed or a site like that where they're constantly putting out all this variety of content. just almost like spamming out as much content as possible. They probably have maybe 50 different authors that are writing all the time and just pumping out different articles and content for their site. Now they could actually be doing it with contributors and contributors cannot publish their own posts. Now this is ideal if you're giving somebody something to write about and you want them to format the post but you also want to have an editor or you yourself as the editor go through and edit the posts and make sure it's the right content that fits your site and what your site is all about. Now, I personally do this myself. I outsource some writing on a couple different blogs that I have, and they're almost like a passive blog, but I tend to like to edit the content and make sure it's a good fit and that things are formatted properly. So I have contributors on there where they write the post right in WordPress and format it, and then I go through and tweak some of the optimization for search engines and make sure the post flows right I want it to have the same voice at the end of the day, so I make sure to go through and edit it and then publish it myself. So subscriber is the last one that I wanted to cover here, and a subscriber can only change their own profile information and nothing else. So if you needed to log in and change your password, you can do that. A lot of them are used for membership sites where they just give you access to log in, and that's about it. You can't really make any significant changes as a subscriber. So again, to run through this, administrator is the most powerful, then editor, author, contributor, and subscriber is the lowest. So those are the options. You would just simply set up a username, first name, last name, get a password set up, and send it to their account, and then you would hit add new user, and that's how you set up users. So in the next video, I just want to go over a final dashboard overview here. 
to wrap up this series and just summarize some of the things that we covered. So I hope to see you in the final video. Thanks for viewing.